From Ryanair to Southwest Airlines, low-cost carriers across the globe love the Boeing 737. It's not uncommon to see the type being the sole aircraft in the fleet of these operators. Boeing's VP of Commercial Marketing, Darren Holst, spoke with Simple Flying about why the aircraft has been a favourite among LCCs across the globe. In early June, Canadian carrier Flair Airlines deployed its new Boeing 737 MAX aircraft for the very first time. The Edmonton-headquartered airline joined several other low-cost outfits across the world by putting its full faith in the narrow body. Notably, the airline already operated the 737-800 before taking on the later series in the family. Earlier this spring, fellow Canadian carrier Swoop shared how the 737-800 is perfect for the company's routes. The airline's president, Charles Duncan, explained that the model's reliability, availability and pricing are key factors in helping the airline serve efficiently. This efficiency is what catalyzed operators to upgrade to the 737 MAX. Flair's president and CEO, Stephen Jones, has emphasized that dropping the airline's operating costs enables his carrier to also drop ticket prices, which stimulates demand. With the ability to cut CO2 emissions by 14% and reduce noise by 50% while offering lower costs per seat mile, it's only natural that those priding themselves on offering cheaper fares would be keen to optimize their fleet. Meanwhile, Boeing's Darren Holst elaborated about the advantages of the aircraft for LCCs, explaining that over the lifetime of the jet, it can save the operator up to $10 million. Overall, economic and environmental sustainability work hand in hand here, with Holst saying, first and foremost, there has to be a business, and we're talking about an airplane that's 15 to 20% more efficient than the airplanes that it replaces. So the replacement value of an airplane this efficient is huge. When you look a little bit longer term, we pledge as a company that all of our aircraft by 2030 will be capable of 100% sustainable aviation fuel. Nonetheless, it's not only the 737 that LCCs stick to. For instance, Wizz Air and EasyJet are fans of the A320 family aircraft, only operating planes from this series. But for other carriers, the 737 continues to hold a strong presence with new startups such as Flyer launching operations with the type this year. The carrier joins Norwegian as another Norway-based LCC that puts its trust in the type. Altogether, it all comes down to savings. Reducing emissions and costs are high priorities for these airlines, especially in the current climate. Therefore, carriers will continue investing in order to maintain these efforts. There's also an abundance of previous generation 737s available amid the transformations within the market in recent years. With that in mind, emerging low-cost carriers have plenty of cost-effective options of the type to choose from. What are your thoughts about the Boeing 737 and its relationship with low-cost carriers? How has your experience been when flying on the type with these airlines over the years? Share your thoughts by leaving a comment. In addition to our daily YouTube videos, Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles and a podcast every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe before you go.